Hello, my name is Chris Lonsdale. I'm a Deputy Principal Moderator for Pearson's GCE Art and Design Qualification. In this video, I will be talking through a Component 1 A-Level submission, which begins to meet the exceptional performance level descriptors across each of the four assessment objectives. It is an inspired submission. The student is clearly moved to action by her chosen subject matter. The balance between the figure and the chair is not a new one nor is it particularly challenging, but this candidate is clearly engaged in the content at a high level, developing ideas in a sustained and focused manner through a variety of recording methods that provide observations and insights into their intentions. It is a submission that takes from its contextual sources what it needs to make authoritative decisions in regards to its own personal developments, without ever copying or pastiching a process or idea, informing the investigations with a consistent demonstration of analytical and critical understanding. You could say it embraces analysis and articulation. This is particularly seen in the personal study. There is a synthesis of ideas throughout. It marries well the relationship between space, composition and other formal elements with abstraction, mark making and form. It strikes a balance between the object and the figure and the materials they use to record the subject matter and does so through the use of appropriate resources, media, materials, techniques and processes, providing a highly sustained and focused investigation. It ends with a series of responses that are realised and fully intended. From early in the submission, it reaches clear decisions that are fully informed and conscious to the student, demonstrating a command of analytical and critical understanding that is seen through the regular reviewing and refining of the work as it develops. This results in a high level of control over the formal elements. Connections made to sources are meaningful and personal. It is a fluent submission with dexterous skill and intuition, which come together to provide a component full of energy and character, with a clear understanding of how materials work together. It embraces practical exploration and manipulation in its recording of ideas, which are always highly relevant to the intentions, as they critically reflect on the progress of their ideas and skills throughout the submission. However, it undertakes quite a linear journey, independently realising its aims in a highly inventive manner, therefore not quite moving beyond the entry point to level 6, where we would require a more adventurous and unexpected folding of the project. As previously mentioned, it is not exploring the most dynamic subject matter. What it does do is provide a comprehensive, genuine creative journey into the chosen theme. It could perhaps be considered as a challenging submission in its use of mark making and banal subject matter. We are acknowledging this submission as one that reaches beyond the top of level 5 and in its own way some may find this challenging. I will now provide a more detailed commentary on specific slides. The candidate talks about capturing mood, not life, early intentions that abstraction will rule over form. There is visual analysis into the space and mark making, with a nod towards artists, but no written notes are necessary at this stage. We now have the first preoccupations with the moments of reflection in a busy world, which provide early but key links to later work about the models sitting on the chairs. The candidate mentions how artists can subconsciously affect one's own work, which in turn shows signs of a conscious awareness of how influences can leave an imprint on one's own personal developments. There is strong self-reflection evident, and comments on how abstraction and energy are going to be the key intentions 
to how the work develops. We see the introduction of Heather Day, and it is important to acknowledge that the candidate was already working in this manner before Day is mentioned. Later, we see a clear moving beyond Day as an influence, as the candidate con continues to pursue their own approach to mark making and painting. There are good reflections on links to artists, and how these provide the need for further personal development. Whilst the visual language begins to become the candidate's own, superseding simple responses to the work of others, even this early in the project. The candidate's analysis provides justification for the importance of bringing the work back to primary source time and again, and this continues throughout the submission. We see strong examples now of the candidate's own visual language emerging as a result. There is a productive use of photography that informs the journey and pushes ideas forward. Once again, a good example of the ongoing primary sources, and it develops the relationship between source and abstraction, which is picked up when analysing Gerhard Richter. Richter's works often play between the relationship of realism and abstraction, of which I also hope to portray. Further comment on this relationship between realism and abstraction is seen when annotating Rauschenberg, who she says seeks to bridge the gap between art and objects of real life and the, and the integration of abstract and the ordinary. Further reflection of ideas now incorporate Hoffman and de Kooning and even Matisse cutouts. De Kooning has inspired me to look for different sources of inspiration for my abstractions, such as using people. His interpretation of the figure as an abstract concept has made me think about how I could take specific sections, or even just lines from the body, and present them in a way so that the subject is not instantly recognisable as human. This sort of deconstruction could also be explored in my work with the colour, and similar to Hoffman, I could use it in large solid sections, then contrast this with areas containing a wide variety of clashing and blended in colours. The immediate introduction of the figure as a key element to the new work emerging is seen as a result. Over the next few slides, artists throughout the submission continue to inspire without ever overbearing the candidate or forcing them into making direct visual responses to the work. We see this evident with the addition of Anna Schulet Huber, Giacometti, Erwin Verne, Tracy Emin, Francis Bacon, David Hockney, Louise Bourgeois, and Helen Frankenthaler. She is now constantly drawing and photographing different but related aspects of her subject matter, playing with conceptual ideas but also closely observing her friends and stacks of chairs. In her personal study, she writes about how she is working from people that she knows and has an emotional connection to, and this genuinely comes out in her outcomes. The candidate writes, even though I have limited myself to using only a pen at times, I do not feel like I am taking a step backwards in my work. Stripping what I am doing down to its basic elements has allowed me to get a clear idea of the types of marks that work in the style of my paintings, which are the delicate, thin ones. These next pages offer a strong example of how a page can address assessment objectives 1, 2 and 3 combined. And the candidate writes in her personal study, At a young age, we all draw completely unselfconsciously, yet if given a camera, a child would be ignorant as to how it worked. This instinct represents how natural and fulfilling transferring vision to action is. The phrase transferring vision to action is her own. And I think it is an example of being authoritative in the sense that she really owns the ideas and knows her material well enough to be able to present the essence concisely. We then see a good selection process evident for the candidate actively selects work from throughout the submission, ensuring that AO4 is fully embedded within the component 
and not simply something that appears or is bolted onto the end of it. The smaller sketchbook provides an excellent visual collection of additional artist contexts that remains steeped in the candidate's own practical recording and experimentation. We see a genuine visual relationship emerging between those artists she visits in the galleries and her response to them, without ever having to make a direct transcription of the work viewed. Relying on sketches, notes, found imagery and collage compositions, the candidate shows conscious knowledge of taking the key elements that she feels underpins both her practical work and personal study, relying on a predominantly visual series of playful responses to the work of others.